This video is our presentation of Fatic Ventures Corp. Brought to you by AllPunnyStocks.com. Fatic trades on the Toronto Venture Exchange on ticker VCV. Unfortunately, Stock Charts doesn't have this in their library, although we have requested that it be added. So we're just going to take a look at a scaled down version of this chart using Quote Media. Ultimately, what's most important with this chart anyways is the cup and handle pattern it's forming and the support and resistance points that are in play right now because a breakout of resistance could lead to a substantially large upside in this chart. I do see right off that the RSI 14 is still holding over top of 50. Holding the upper half of the indicator is a bullish position. It's especially important considering the stock has pulled back from its highs of around 13 and a half to close at 11 and a half yesterday. So I will definitely want to see that RSI hold that position and potentially try and make a stronger move upward and break through 70 and move into what momentum traders call the power zone. The MACD has a very nice uptrend to it. As always, I look for that breakthrough zero. That's why it's referenced as the money line because it's a bullish indication when the 12 and 26 EMA components of the MACD push through zero. You see that happened right through this area. Strong move in the price per share and the upward price trend has continued from there forward. The fact the 12 is pulling back towards the 26 is not that big of a deal to me. Overall, I just want to see that MACD hold in bull chart territory and hold over top of zero. Volume has slipped off a little bit since it's made the move from around seven cents to nearly double. That's exactly what technical traders look for when the stock's consolidating. Real quick, there's the basic portion of the cup that's been formed, and that's the top side of the handle that's being formed. That's the basic look at the pattern, and what becomes important in that is the support that comes in around 11 cents, and then the resistance there around 13 and a half cents. Now there's more support down here around a dime, but the pattern is my main focus right now, so I'd look at these two areas of 11 and 13 and a half as wanting to see 11 hold of support, and I'd be looking for the breakout point around 13 and a half. 11 is also important because that's the 200 day simple moving average. And I always want to see stocks holding over top of that key moving average. The 9 of course is much quicker moving. It's made a bullish cross through the 50 and the 200 day recently. And now the 50 is curling upward towards the 200 day. Which if that break happens that's called a golden cross. It's typically a very bullish indication of a chart. Now I did want to point out one other thing. This is a 3 month chart. And this is a 1 year chart. At that point you can see a nice uptrend in the RSI. A nice uptrend in MACD coming off this bottom and you can see that resistance point a little bit more clearly there around 13 and a half. You can also see in the longer term that there's some resistance right there around 14 and again a little bit more there at 15. And if it can break through those levels the upside on this is resistance up around 20 cents. And although we typically don't put price points on things when you look at a cup and handle pattern the price point is the depth of the cup to the breakout point and that pattern would complete itself right around 20 cents. Because of the upper end resistance and the cup and handle pattern I thought it was at least pertinent to point out how those two tie nicely together. But zooming back into something more near term it shows why those points are so important in the overall picture of things. Overall the chart's in a real nice position though. The indicators are aligned and favorable to try and take out this resistance point. So I'd watch for volume to increase and to see if this takes on some upward pressure and challenges 13 and a half and 14. Those are the type of things that I'd be looking for in the Vatic Ventures chart. But as always, it's merely my interpretation. I'm not a financial consultant. Strongly encourage you to do your own proper due diligence. Consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the AllPennyStocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure. And do not base any investment decisions on any material found on the website and or its video chart. No person employed by AllPennyStocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker-dealer. Thank you for watching. Trade smart.